Hello everyone. So I am giving you some Doppler effect formulas which left. I hope all of you did. Those who did not, you can copy from here. Okay. So you can say this is what well formulae. And this is second. Okay. So at least right now. So whatever the next number is there, you can give next number. And this is Doppler effect. All cases I am giving. So in this case number one, that is moving source and stationary observer. Moving source and stationary observer. So n apparent is equal to n naught into p by p minus p s. Can you how to use this formula? Source is coming towards observer. Okay, next one. N apparent is equal to N naught V by V plus V S. And this formula when source is moving away from Next. Second case. Stationary source and moving observer. Stationary source and Moving observer. So in this, n apparent is equal to n naught into p plus p naught divided by v. When we have to use this, when observer is coming towards the source. towards the source and uh, n apparent is equal to n naught v minus v naught by v when observer is going away from So this is what two cases we have learned. That is first one is moving source and stationary observer. This formula you have to use. N apparent is equal to N naught V by V minus V S when source is coming towards observer. And just V plus V S when it is going away. In this case, when observer is moving, when observer is moving coming towards the source, you have formula N naught into bracket V plus V naught by V. And when it is going away, just replace that V naught with minus V naught. And therefore, formula you are getting N apparent is equal to N naught V minus V naught by. So, what is V naught there? Velocity of observer. Vs is what? Velocity of source. V is what? Velocity of 
tahun ini. Oke. Okay. Note down this. Next. Now, this finished stationary source and moving observer, third case. Now, moving source and moving observer. Moving. Source and moving observer. This is very important case. And here I am writing just a common formula. Common formula which you have to use that is n apparent is equal to n naught into p plus or minus p naught divided by p plus or minus okay this is the common formula which we have to use now here i have given sign conventions so that you can write down it is very important sign conventions number one In the direction of propagation of wave, in the direction of propagation of wave, in the direction of propagation of wave, take negative. But what we have to take negative sign convention? I am writing like this for V naught and V S. Okay, I am adding here for V naught and V S. Understand? Second sign convention in the opposite direction or opposite to the direction of propagation of wave. Opposite to the direction of propagation of wave, take positive. What is that? V not and yes. So I have given you some cases with apparent wavelength also. Yes. I have given you one table. Right. So you can use that. Take example Dunga, for example, you will understand easily. Suppose this is a Vs and this is a V naught and this is V. So what is the formula then above? N apparent is equal to N naught P minus V naught by P minus Vs. Okay, because both are in the direction of propagation of wave. So you can understand from here onwards now. If one more example I will take, uh, suppose I am taking one example like this. Now Vs is this side and V0 is this side and this is V. So now see in this, who is in the direction of P, P0. So that's why here, n apparent is equal to n naught into p minus v naught and the one who is in opposite direction we have to take at a plus so vs is this side so therefore you are getting formula like this so this common formula you can use anywhere when 
source and observer both are in motion. So use this sign convention only two sign conventions which are very very important and this common formula it will help you a lot in the problem solving. Clear? Okay, so note down this. Okay, next. Now, Doppler effect in reflected sound. So, here it is. I have already told there is a car and there is a wall. So you are having frequency that is again reflected, we can say. So here, N apparent is equal to N naught into V plus velocity of car and V minus velocity of car. Okay, this is what heard by car driver. This is what heard by car driver. And here if you want delta N in this only, then it is 2 into velocity of car into N divided by P minus what number of feet we can in the reflected sound. Next one, what is that? When source and observer are not in the same line of motion. Next is what? Doppler effect when source and observer are when source and observer are not in same line, not in same line. Then you are having formula N apparent is equal to V plus V2 cos of theta 2 divided by minus V1 cos of theta 1 into N naught. This is V1 and V2 you are having here. So as already I have given, there are two cars and this frequency is what? Heard by car 2. This is what? A frequency heard by car 2 driver we can say. heard by car to drive. Next. Next case is what observer is in between source and wall. Source and wall. Then you are having N direct is equal to N reflected is equal to V by V minus Vs into N. Where Vs is what? Velocity of source. Next, when source is in between observer and wall. Source is in between observer and wall. Then N direct 
n direct is equal to v by v plus v s into n and n reflected is equal to v by v minus v s into n and here number of bits that is delta n is equal to 2 v s divided by v square minus v s square into n okay is what the formula and with cases whatever it is pause the video note down the solve formulas Next, now if suppose target is moving, that is wall is moving, suppose, for moving target, you are having, for wall, you will have frequency, n dash is equal to v plus vt by v into n. And for observer, n double dash is equal to v plus vt divided by v minus vt into n. If the target is moving, if target is Moving away from observer, then n double dash is equal to v minus v t divided by v plus v t into n. Okay, this is what the frequency when target is. Next one, transverse Doppler effect. Just you have to take that angle that is cos theta, already you know. Next, rotating source and observer. Rotating source and observer. If this is the source which is rotating and observer is in between, then there is no Doppler effect. No Doppler effect. Next. If person is outside and source is rotating like this, Then n max by n minimum is equal to v plus v s by v minus v s. You know it is like source is coming towards and source is going away for this case. Next when observer is rotating, I am making in this box third case to write down. Now source is here and observer is rotating. Observer is rotating then n max by n minimum v plus v naught by v minus v naught. Okay. So you can Note down this when observer is rotating. Pause the video and note down.
and next doppler shift delta nu delta nu is equal to nu minus nu dash that is apparent frequency minus actual one and doppler shift in radar doppler shift in radar n dash is equal to c plus v by c into n this is received by moving plane this is what received by moving plane in this case what is the c velocity of light p is what sound velocity n is actual frequency and one more that is n double dash n double dash is equal to c plus v by c minus v into n and this is what frequency received from it okay this is what frequency received from it okay so these are the some formulas if you want to add you can add your own from the notebook okay so i have given maximum so try to do this and this finishes our chapter here with formulas now from monday we will start next chapter so i am requesting you that please revise all the notes if any part is incomplete take the notes from your friend write down read once okay and try to solve some problems i have given almost i think 50 problems how many of you have solved i don't know but you try to solve and ask me doubt you can send me that question or else those who have solved you can share it on the group so that others can get benefit of it okay and thanks for your wishes take blessings of your parents okay and let's stop here bye for today